Are you wondering how to install a GUI for Asterisk on a cloud-based operating system? Well, if that's the case, then you are in the right spot. Hello and welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. And in this video, we are going to show you the step-by-step -step guide to set up free PBX GUI for Asterisk on Azure. Well, if you are not familiar with free PBX, then it is becoming the world's most popular open source IP PBX GUI. Well, if you want to go through all the commands that will be used in this tutorial, then make sure to click the link in the description box that will take you towards this particular blog post that contains all the commands and all the instructions to set up free PBX on Azure, AWS and GCP. So head over to portal.azure.com and then search for free PBX and then click on marketplace. From the free PBX's page, click on this option that says create. Now you want to create a virtual machine of this free PBX distro. So make sure to put in your subscription, give your virtual machine a name. I'm going to call it free PBX GUI and then select the region that is closest to you. Scroll down and make sure that the free PBX image generation one is selected. And for the size, make sure to select the size according to your need. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with the SSH public key, but you can also opt for the password protected access. And then this is the username that we will use in the PowerShell to connect to this particular virtual machine. So click review and create. Wait for the validation to complete. Once the validation is complete, make sure to put in your details within these text boxes and click the button that says create. Now, this is the SSH that we are going to need to access the virtual machine. So click on this option that says download the private key and create resource. And then you have to wait for the deployment to finish. Once the deployment is complete, click on this option that says go to resource. And then click on this button that says connect. Make sure to select SSH and then copy this particular command. Then open up a new PowerShell and paste in the command that you just copied and simply replace the private key path for the path where you have placed your private key. After replacing the path, simply press enter and type yes. And as you can see that we have logged in. Now, the very first thing that you want to do is you want to set up the databases. And before executing any command, make sure to switch to root user by typing in the command sudo space hyphen i and press enter. And then head over to the blog post and copy all these commands now these commands are going to help us establish a connection between free pbx and mariadb so open up your terminal and simply right click on it to paste all the commands and press enter and then you also want to copy all of these commands that are going to help us create a connection between mysql and free pbx and simply right click in it to paste the commands and then press enter with these two steps you have made a connection between free pbx and the two databases now what you want to do is that you want to download the free pbx along with the static and install them so head back over to the blog post and copy all these commands go back to powershell paste them and wait for the downloading process to complete while it is installing the free pbx and asterisk let's see what these commands actually do so we are basically going inside the source directory and downloading the free pbx 15 then we are unzipping the free pbx and deleting the zipped file and then we are creating the configuration files for the asterisk and then we are heading inside the free pbx folder and starting the asterisk inside that folder and once we are done with the starting asterisk we are going to install free pbx using this particular command so if we head back to our powershell you can see that asterisk has successfully started so simply type this command dot forward slash install space hyphen n and press enter now this is going to install the free pbx on your cloud hosted distro As you can see on the last line that we were able to successfully install the free PBX. So let's try it out. Head back over to portal.azure, click on this option that says free PBX GUI, which is our distro dash IP. Here you're going to see an IP address, copy it to clipboard, open up a new tab and paste and hit enter. You can clearly see that the free PBX GUI is up and running on our cloud hosted operating system. But let's also complete the backend of SMTP alerts and then we'll come back to this initial setup of free PBX GUI. And then what you want, you want to install Postfix to set up SMTP alerts. So before installing Postfix, make sure to copy all of these three commands and paste it inside your SSH terminal. Now these commands are going to free up the apt logs and then you can simply install the Postfix by typing in the command sudo apt get installed and then Postfix. 
and then also add in the flag hyphen y and then simply hit enter and wait for the postfix to install and then you also want to install the mail utils so type in the command sudo apt get install mail utils without any space and then also add in the flag hyphen y Now that you have installed the postfix and the mail utils, you can start to configure the SMTP alerts. So the very first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to set up the relay host in the main.configuration file of postfix. So type the command nano forward slash etc forward slash postfix forward slash main.cf to open up the main configuration file. And within this file, if you scroll down, you'll see that the relay host is currently empty. So type in the relay host of the SMTP provider. In my case, it is Gmail. So I'm going to write smtp.gmail.com followed up by the port number, which for Gmail is 587. Then I'm going to press Ctrl O to save the file and Ctrl X to exit the file. Then what we are going to do is that we are going to create a new SASL password file. For that, type in the command nano forward slash etc forward slash postfix forward slash sasl underscore password but remember this is p-a-double-s-w-d for password hit enter and in here you're going to type in your email address which has smtp service enabled on it but before that type in the relay host which is smtp.gmail.com colon port number 587 then put a space and then type in the email ID which is going to be used to send emails to recipients and then after the user ID put a colon and type in the password now this password is your authentic password for that particular gmail ID Control O and Control X to save and exit the file then you need to add authentication to the main configuration file as well so open up the main configuration file by typing nano forward slash etc forward slash postfix forward slash main.cf scroll down to the very bottom and type in the following commands again the link to this command is going to be present in the description box Control o and Control x to save and exit the file and then you need to post map the file that you just created which is the sasl password so the command is post map space hash colon forward slash the path which is etc postfix and then sasl underscore p a double s w d now you have successfully installed the authentication as well to postfix but in some rare cases sometimes internet service providers reject the message if from user and the sending user do not match and in that case you need to change the rules so for that type in the command nano forward slash etc forward slash postfix forward slash generic and then you're going to type in the commands that include the users for the email address that you have provided it would look something like this make sure that you replace the email with your email that you have put in within the relay host then you can save and exit this file and open up the main.configuration file once more to add the reference to this generic rules file so go to the very bottom and add in the particular line which is smtp underscore generic underscore maps is equals to hash colon forward slash then the path which is etc postfix then generic save and exit the main.configuration file and then you're almost done with setting up the SMTP alerts for postfix manually and the last thing that you want to do is that you want to post map the file that you just created which is the generic file by tapping in the command post map forward slash etc forward slash postfix forward slash generic and the very last step is to start the service of postfix or if it is already started then you want to reload that service but sometimes you are met with an error because send mail process is often time using the port number 25 so if that's the case then we will have to kill that send mail process as well so if i type in the command postfix start you can see that the mail startup failed so the command to find the process id of send mail is lsof space hyphen i space colon and 25 this is going to look for the processes that are using the port number 25 so type in kill negative 9 and then the process id that is written over here which is in my case 2279 press enter 
and then again try to start the postfix. As you can see, we were able to start the postfix mail system. Now we have set up everything on the back end so we can finally move on to the front end GUI of FreePBX. Now, when you log into this particular IP address, for the first time it is going to ask you to set up an admin account. So for the username, I'm going to say admin and for the password, I'm also going to say admin. And then you need to add in the email address of notifications, which is most likely to be the email address of the admin, which in my case is my own email address. So I'm going to type that in and then you can leave the system identifier as it is. When you are satisfied with the settings, click the button that says setup system. Now every time you log into this particular IP address after the initial setup, it is going to ask you what kind of user you are or what is that you want. So I'm going to click on free PBX administration and type in admin and admin which is my username and my password for the admin account then it is going to ask me about the language i'm going to go with english and click submit and as you can see that our free pbx is up and running the asterisk is up and running my sql is up and running along with the web server and the mail queue or the smtp mail service as well so what you want to do is that you want to click on this option that says apply config and wait for the page to fully reload. If you want to change settings for the template of the email that will be sent through this free PBX distro, then you can head over to settings and voicemail admin. And in case you want to update your free PBX modules, then go to admin, go to module admin, click on this option that says check online, select the button that says download all, and then click on process, and then scroll down and click on this option that says confirm, and then Every module that is available on the repository is going to be installed in your free PBX distro hosted on Azure. So simply wait for a little while and then you'll be fully up to date. Now as you can see that everything has been installed so click on this button that says return and then click the button that says apply config. Then you can head over to dashboard and as you can see that our free PBX GUI for Asteric is not only up and running on the Azure cloud-based system, rather it is completely up to date. In case you have any query regarding the installation of free PBX GUI, then make sure to leave a comment down in the comment box. To get the commands that we have used in this tutorial, make sure to check the description box and head over to the blog post that defines the installation process in a very clear way. And if this video helped you to set up your free PBX GUI, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe.